Hello. Gaming with Tomomi by Tun. Uh, this, you know, he's the guy who made Emilia's Cafe, uh... Yeah. A short horror game where he plays a male streamer using anime girl avatar as a VTuber, but you accidentally played a game that contains a virus, then something bad has happened. Consider this game is heavily inspired by Hayami, yeah. Uh, this was not the original game name of the game, I believe. Yeah, it's gonna be the Curse of Tomomi before <laughs> the whole text just anime. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, I don't really know what to say, uh, other than the fact that, you know, I've been, like, waiting for this to come out. I only found out this came out because I just decided to randomly check. Like, there was no notification sent up here. Hello, Apocalypse Hunting 2. I hate you. All right, loading. Awesome loading time. Loading fun. Fun, fun loading. That's, uh... Okay. Epic Astronaut Games. In collaboration with... Roots? Alright, nice. Here we are. Game Assets ga Gallery. Donate. I have 32 Robux to my name. I cannot do that. Well, how much would it be? Bare minimum 10? I mean... We'll see. Surely the exit button wouldn't. Probably. All right, here we are. Tonight is the perfect night to start streaming. I could really use the donations for rent this week. Hopefully I get enough to survive or my landlord will kill me. I don't have to read. Yes. This is the best game ever. Five Doug Walkers. Is the video where I do that joke even gonna come out before this one? I don't even know if it is. Is that? Is that manly badass hero? Yeah, that's the guy whose voice I keep getting compared to. Motherfucker. Using wood texture for a window. Don't see that often. I need to begin the live stream first. Nah. I need to begin the live stream first. Okay. Turn off the lights. Awesome. Uh, I'm not even going to complain about that. Turn back the lights on. Um, okay. I don't know why four light switches correlate to each one. It seems a bit weird, but I mean, whatever. I should turn on my PC to get the live stream up and running. What? What do you mean I can't? Okay. Doors 10. Get off from the chair. That is exactly as I was expecting. <laughs> Uh, so, what do we got? We got folder. No file. Browser. I can search. Roblox. I don't know, I was about to type that. <laughs> Alright, well, we only have one option. It's time to watch you. Welcome to Watch You, where you stream yourself to make people watch you. Hello, I am Takahashi Tomomi. Let's play games together. Because Tomomi loves you all. Post- Oh god. Oh god. We have 540. You can increase like the resolution for these. I'm just saying. Please. Do that. Post 18 streaming is about now. Like, I hate the mouse pad when it gets dirty. I need money. Please donate me. Literally me. It's heavily raining here. Amelia's Cafe needs to have a Steam remake. We're not doing this. Can anyone suggest me a game to play today? Eat vegetables every day is the best diet. I swear I saw a ghost today. Last game we played was scary as bear. I'm bored. I'm playing the game you request in the chat today. Be prepared. There. That should do it. Now let's go live. Can I make my own? Yes. Wait. We didn't make a post of 29, though. Ah, uh, it's fine. That's me. Hello. Hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel, Gaming with Tomomi chan That's me! Ooh. Today's your lucky day, because I'll be picking any games that you, my lovely subscribers, recommend to me. Feel free to leave any games in the chat. 
who knows? Maybe you'll be even luckier and have your game chosen as the next one I play. Wow! Thanks so much for the donation! Anime.exe Ooh! Wow-wee! Looks like we've got a very interesting game to play. All right, guys! Guess we're playing a game called Anime EXE today! Uh, anyways. Uh, that was a million dollars, first of all. No comment on that, apparently. Uh, you got all these... I would see... The game. Yeah, there. So, I guess I wanna, like, close this? Yes. Folder. No. Browser. So, let's search this up. Do not play... Anime... anime. I don't know why I started, like, mumbling there. Do not play anime.exe. It contains virus. Yeah. Maybe this cafe is better than the anime.exe. So please explain about anime.exe. Oh. Posted by AnimeLover19. <laughs> Understand about the game lore. Why is she evil? I think she hates the player for being baby. I think she wants to be freed from the game. One answer. It's the program's fault to, to design her like this. I did... Okay, lol, don't care about that game, it's boring TBH. I really want to know that too, lol. Too bad I'm not the creator. I heard every victim of the game earns CD in their home. Who knows what's inside? That's me. This is me. I'm Fart Sniffer. Never heard of that game until now. I have to check it out. Uh, critic reviews. How to be anime.exe. How to be anime.exe, step by step. Uh, this might be... We'll look at that. The unsolved crime of the most haunted game, anime.exe. Oh my god! The unsolved crime of the most haunting game, Anime.exe. Incident overview. In a quiet suburban town, a string of mysterious disappearances and unexplained deaths has left investigators baffled. The common link among the victims? They all played a chilling game known as Anime.exe. This, this scroll is going to kill me. What was initially dismissed as a mere coincidence has evolved into a perplexing case that has eluded even the most seasoned detectives. Victims. Sarah Turner, 22 years old. Found lifeless in her apartment two days after playing anime.exe. No apparent cause of death. Mark Johnson, 28 years old. Vanished without a trace after a late night gaming session. His apartment showed signs of disturbance, but no clues as to where his whereabouts. Emily Chen, 19 years old. Discovered in a comatose state. Muttering incoherent phrases related to the game. She remains unresponsive to external stimuli. Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez. No. I cannot say that for some reason. I can, I swear. Rodriguez. 25 years old. Vanished during a live-streamed anime.exe session. Viewers reported seeing a shadowy figure behind him just before the stream abruptly ended. Jessica Park, 24 years old. Found a severe psychological trauma, repeating the phrase, It's watching. No invisible injuries, but she's unable to communicate coherently. Brian Walker, 30 years old. Discovered in a catatonic state. Staring blankly at his computer screen. Anime.exe was still running. Michael Lee, 32 years old, found dead in a local park, a laptop playing anime.exe resting beside him, beside him. The cause of death remains undetermined. Investigation. Detectives delved into the origins of anime.exe, a game rumored to be haunted and linked to various paranormal phenomena. The developer, only known as Nexus, remains elusive. Attempts to trace the game's source have been proven futile. The victims' computers all running the victims' computers all running anime.exe showed anomalies. The corrupted files, unexplained glitches, and eerie messages embedded in the game's code hinting hinted at something beyond conventional understanding. As investigators struggled to make sense of the connections, they found a common thread. Each victim reported seeing a spectral figure within the game, a har a harbinger of their impending doom. Current st status? The case of anime.exe remains open. Labeled as the town's most haunted mystery, the chilling game continues to circulate on the dark web, with new players unwittingly falling into its grasp. Grasp. <sighs> the unsolved case of anime.exe stands as a testament to the thin line between fiction and reality, between investigators grappling with the inexplicable and the haunting question. What male malevolent force lurks within the, the code of anime dunk C, claiming those who dare play? Uh, I was going to type browser there, by the way. <laughs> Not a thought in my head. Right, let's play this. Anime.exe free download. 
A game where you impress the girl to not ditch you. X D D D D D D. Download X D D D D. Great. Uh, let, let's keep this uh, how to beat. All right. Let's go. So let's keep that open. Nice folder. Let's do this. It's all fine. Now let's see what's in there. Can I speak? Thank you. Hey, you sloth, get over here. Mm hmm. I'm getting sick of you. You're always being slow and make makes me tired with house chores. I don't know what you think, but doing house chores myself is not is not what I need for you to be here. Something like that. What kind of man are you? You're being selfish. I really hate you. I'm considering that I don't want you anymore, unless if you proved yourself, then I'll take it back. I don't care. <laughs> I've made a mistake. The disappearance of 24-year-old Ethan Mitchell has left his community in shock and raised numerous questions with no immediate answers. Mitchell, who resided in a modest apartment, was last seen two weeks ago, and his absence was brought to light when his landlord, Mr. Harris, sought overdue rent payments. Known for, his introvert, in, known for his introvert lifestyle, Ethan Mitchell was not a familiar face in the neighborhood in that much. However, concerns escalated when Mr. Harris, owner of the apartment complex, reached out to collect rent from Mitchell. After repeated failed attempts to contact him, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Harris used an extra key to enter the apartment, discovering an eerie silence within. Inside, the apartment appeared undisturbed, with no signs of forced entry or any indication of foul play. However, Mitchell was nowhere to be found. The only anomaly was a faint glow emanating from his computer, which is oddly switched on. The computer found running in Mitchell's apartment is now a focal point in the investigation. Authorities are working with tech experts to uncover any digital clues that might shed light on his activities leading up to the disappearance. His online presence, communication history, and recent activities are being scrutinized for potential leads. Local police have urged anyone with information related to Ethan Mitchell's disappearance to come forward. As of now, the community remains on edge, anxiously awaiting answers about the fate of a young man whose vanishing act has left more questions than answers. The glow of the computer screen serves as a haunting reminder of life suddenly interrupted, with the whereabouts of Ethan Mitchell remaining a baffling mystery. Bad ending too. No trace, no regret. You know, I was worried about how the hell I'm gonna make a thumbnail for this. Like, Tonight I think is the perfect night to start streaming. Shh. I could really not now. Um, yeah, with how to make a thumbnail. But I just remember, oh yeah, the game asset gallery. That will probably, that will probably be the saving grace. Get me off of this chair. Also, this this is way too. That is way too quiet. Only volume mixing. Play Roblox. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Play Lydia's art class. That game ain't even out. You be you, please. Oh, I see you have accepted the deal. Mahahaha. Okay then, go cook yourself to prove it. What are you waiting for? I already said it. I'm. I tried. Yeah, you do. Welcome to my world. I don't know if I have <laughs> Collect perfect cooked sticks as much as possible before time runs out. You got it. Ready? Set? Go! See? You don't even know what you're trying to do. Now hurry, go clean the floor. Instruction. Clean the debris. Debris or bacteria with correct tools as much as possible. As much possible before time runs out. What is going on? 
God, I'm gonna have a stroke. Try not. I need like an easy way to swap between these. My God. Idiot, idiot, you are so horrible at this. I would please myself to never see you again. See you in hell, bye. Okay. <laughs> Epic news. In a bewildering and tragic turn of events, the online community is grappling with the mysterious death of 24-year-old streamer Ethan Mitchell, known for his engaging content and vibrant personality. Ethan met his untimely demise in his apartment while streaming, leaving his fans and authorities puzzled. The shocking incident unfolded during one of Ethan's routine streaming sessions. To the dismay of his dedicated viewers, his webcam remained turned off, concealing the unfolding tragedy. The live stream which typically showcases lively interactions and gaming sessions, took an ominous turn when an unexpected noise and subsequent silence gripped the audio. I think that's what it said. Inside the apartment appeared undisturbed. Inside, the apartment appeared undisturbed, with no signs of forced entry or any indication of foul play. However, Mitchell was nowhere to be found. The only anomaly was a faint glow emanating from his computer, which was oddly switched on. Being a good reading session. As concerned viewers bombarded the chat with inquiries, the absence of a visual feed uh, intensified the mystery. It was only when authorities, respo authorities responding to concerns raised by the streaming platform and Ethan's on offline friends entered his apartment that the chilling truth emerged. Ethan Mitchell was discovered lifeless in front of his computer. His neck gruesomely snapped, with the keyboard bearing the haunting evidence of s the sudden and violent nature of his demise. Investigators are now faced with the daunting task of pu piecing together the events that led to the shocking conclusion. Bro dipped. <laughs> the decision to keep the webcam off during the critical moments of his death has added an extra layer of intrigue to the investigation. Friends, fam family, and fans are left grappling with the grief of losing a beloved figure in the online community, compounded, compounded by the eerie circumstances surrounding his death. As news of Ethan's passing spreads, tribute to messages of condolences flood social media. The loss of a young life with a promising future has left the online world in mourning, and questions linger as authorities work tirelessly to unravel the perplexing circumstances of Ethan Mitchell's final moments. Bad ending four. Snap out of it. Snap it out. Oh my god. Oh god, is it too late? Because I was gonna, like, go to the... I think it might have been... <laughs> might be too late. Cause that little button there does not work. Help. Help, I'm meant to go to the... I'm meant to go to the... Let me speak! I'm meant to go to the... To the... How to beat the game. I fucked up. I fucked up, man. Let me go back. Alright, I have an idea. Just what in the world is that? That's it. I won't even let you give another try anymore. Bye. Okay. Huh? What just hit my window? We're going to receive a special gift. Is someone out there? Hello? Someone threw the stone at my window. Good morning. Welcome back to the Blocks Chronicle. I am your host, unnamed Anchorman. Our top story today is a tragic one that has cost the life of a 24-year-old Ethan Mitchell, found at the bottom of his balcony from his apartment last night. The details surrounding his death are currently veiled in a shadow of mystery. Uh, I was just heading to bed when I heard this loud noise, like someone screamed or something. 
The authorities were swiftly alerted and responded to the scene after reports of the incident. Emergency services, however, were unable to revive Mitchell, and he was pronounced dead on arrival. Why does that sound so different? I can't believe it. It was just a young guy. This is so sad. Preliminary investigations by the local police revealed no immediate signs of foul play. Our initial examination indicates no suspicious activity, but we are treating this as an unexplained death. We urge anyone with information to come forward. Friends and neighbors are grappling with the news, struggling to comprehend how such a tragedy could occur in their midst. Ethan was a quiet guy. He never bothered anyone. I can't wrap my head around this. The detail leading up to Ethan Mitchell's fall remains elusive, and authorities are conducting a thorough examination of the balcony and its surroundings. It's a tragic event, and our condolences go out to Mr. Mitchell's family and friends. We are dedicated to uncovering the circumstances that led to this unfortunate incident. As the community mourns the loss of a young life, questions persist about the events of that fateful night. The police assure the public that a comprehensive investigation is underway to shed light on the mysterious death of Ethan Mitchell. In other news... <laughs> I must try harder. Yeah, that, that it's a bit late with that. So is it good to speak now? Okay. Bad ending three, fatal fall. Um When I heard the words friends and neighbors uttered, my god, I had to resist. I had to resist so bad. I just see like how many like bad endings there are, all that, and there's even like dead ends. And it's just like, god damn. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting like all of those. I don't know if I care. Call me Thog, because I don't care. Um Okay, so you just gotta correctly clean at least ten times. I can do that. I mean really it's gonna be a challenge of who's gonna win. My shaky ass cause I haven't I'm hungry or the or the game it's gonna be me by the way I'm gonna win oh boy here we go I know what to do <sighs> oh it kind of gets the heart racing I'm not gonna lie I see they're not that bad oh How about one more task? I'm gonna... <laughs> now decide whether I'll stay with you or not. Last task is... Die! Oh. What the... Okay, that was strange. I just got the strange feeling someone or... Something is watching me from outside my apartment. I better go check it out to calm my nerves. Is someone out there? Hello? Nobody's out here. It's awfully quiet. <sighs> Maybe I just need some coffee. It's Evoc, and it's funny. So I can't help that. So can I open this? Freedom. Freedom at last. Is that Tomomi chan? I think she's looking for something. I feel like my best bet is to sneak into. Oh! You are an actual jackass for that, I'd like to just say. Okay, it's dead end too. Like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Repost if you love the Canadian FM. I do. My whole purpose in life is to spread... Spread? Oh, how the fuck did I manage to say that? Is to... Spread... Propaganda... For the Canadian FM. I am the number one Cameron Hawkins fan, after all. Undisputed fact. Oh, I was wondering about, like, the Sybil game. I just remembered, that's, like, another game by, uh... Ton. I wish that game isn't even complete. Which, low. Isn't that on hiatus as well? Cancelled or hiatus. Also, really, I thought that, like, um... Like, how to beat was actually gonna be more helpful, but no, it's literally just... Be good at the game. Like, okay. So, I'll indulge in this cutscene. Uh... Happy Nobody's Peg, happy. he's watching it's the, uh, quiet. the video I mentioned before, <laughs> Maybe I that I don't know if this is coming out before this one or after this one. Uh, yeah, he just mentioned, 
Unironic casual use of the word nerk. This YouTuber fucking stinks. You bro brother, you made that word. Or you're the one that at least made this, the group start using it. You're the problem. Anyways, this is a the hickey ass game. Like if you agree. <laughs> Trials and tribulation. That's all I can say. First. I don't know if I've said this before, but I originally, like, once was going to do a video on, uh, Weird Dad, whatever that game was called. I don't remember. Um, yeah, and then I was just like, okay, well, if you fail, the intro takes, like, five years. So, like, no thanks. And honestly, that's kind of the same thing going on here. Like, this shit take too long. It's e -fuck. I've already said that. Well, okay, frames. You can calm down. Alright, any- For some reason, if I look over there, the frames will die. The mark of an opti unoptimized game. At least that shit ain't the mark of them all. You can laugh now. I have to look down, but I'm like right in front of the door. So I can only figure that I have to go out there, but like, how do, how do I do that without dying? <laughs> Bitch. Well, anyways, I do see that there's a light switch there that I just didn't try. So, you know, I, I think that might be the solution. I'm gonna spend a good a fun time getting back to here. <sighs> Egregious game design. Okay, I guess not. Oh, well, the light switch is clearly responding to inside. Okay, I guess I just have to fucking speed it in there or something. Is that Tomomi John? I think she's looking for something. I feel like my best bet is to sneak into the bathroom. I feel like I shouldn't have lived that. What the fuck? Is Tomomi gone? Was that all in my head? Game broken. I think I just. I need to get out of the apartment and go for a walk. Every time I see that Brutes logo, I just think a spore. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing my part now. Enjoy 10 Robux. Or, except it's not gonna be 10, because, you know, some gets taken away. I implore for you to donate yourself, and of course, play the game if you have premium, so Ton can get premium payouts. We did it, Reddit. Is Tomomi gone? Was that all in my head? I think I just need to get out of the apartment and go for a walk. All in my head game? Someone get pirate cynical on this right now. I cannot trust this fucking game because I do not want to sit through some more excruciating time waiting to get here. Oh, it's not really wait. Why did I fumble what I wanted to say there so bad? I don't recall this door being locked. On second thought, maybe I need some sort of weapon to at least feel a bit safer. D did the knife sound need to be so loud, though? What? Oh. Oh. No, I... Lol? Lamau, even? I'm so sorry, Tomomi-chan. This is bait. Please forget... Lit epic. Dead end three. Knife to meet you. So funny. A flower? Whatever you do, do not go down to Willow Farm. Fear. I just heard something outside the door. <sighs> I'm still pretty shooken up of what I imagined earlier. I think I should do neither of these. Open the door. Get on the floor. We did not get to walk the dinosaur. Take a peek. Oh god. Oh no, not again. Where can I hide? Where can I hide? Open up.
Holy. That was close. I... I just want to leave. Thank God that was not the wrong answer, because if that was, um... You wouldn't be hearing from me anymore, I'm just saying. What I mean by that is I'd flee to a whole nother country. So what now? Well, the front door's open. Now, let's get gaming. Let's game. Let's get game. Okay, walk out the fucking front door. It's time to go. I don't want to go. I'll be sure to reach the nearest police station in no time. They might think I'm insane, but I need to tell them my story at the very least. Maybe they can take down that anime.exe game from the internet. Huh? Didn't I just come through here? Isn't this where we entered from? It's locked. Uh-oh! I keep running. And running. And running for what seems like an eternity. Has my apartment really become an endless hallway? How's that a bad ending? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck your dad. Oh, is this probably open? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, oh, it's the broom. Huh? There's a disc in this box. I wonder what it contains. Since when did I have a Tomomi chair? No, figure interacting out? with this probably just fucked me over. I'm gonna scream. Oh, thank God it didn't. Oh, thank God it didn't. I was gonna lose my fucking mind. I wonder where I can use this. Is that rope? Okay. I'll sit no comment. Cock? Whoops! You need to put the CD up your ass. You know where to use it. You know where to use the CD, man. Come on. Oh, let me just have to put it in here for some reason. It said it was a CD, right? Right? Unless this is like music, because if there's password, the CD requires one for a DVD player. Why do we need a password? Taking a wild shot in the dark. No. Worth the sh worth the shot, you know? Guys, I don't think- I don't- I don't think CDs can do that. Oh, see, if there's video on that, I'm calling fake. CDs can't have video. Actually, wrong. They're CD video. I'm not getting into semantics, though. It's just a normal CD. Did not specify it was CD video. Hmm. Let me take one more good look at it. Okay, I, th I think interacting with that multiple times is bait. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm out of ideas, so you know what that means. Yep, still the same as always. When did I even buy this? Do I dare try again? Okay, but wait, no. I will not try again. I need to think about this. Rope. What What could you use rope for? Well, I mean... I know many uses. There is no particular reason I was walking into that, I swear. Um... Like, you can use it to... No. No. There. I should be able to get to the street faster from here. Thank God. I thought this was going to be something horrible. Oh, no, wait. This is probably going to... Am I going to hit my truck? What was that? Tomomi? What happened to you? I have to get out of here. Fucking goofy ass. Is that a van? I just got an idea. I hope you enjoyed the frame lag during that. Hopefully that was mostly... ...intelligible. Take this, you amalgamation! <laughs> the only thing that reminded me of was, like, the way I said, it reminded me of that, um... We just hit someone. Normal ending. Van thief. Now it's time to get the good one. We need no. We need like get the password.
Royalty free music, I feel that. Except I don't. Oh, the game asset gallery costs Robux. Meh. It appears I'll not be able to easily make a thumbnail. <laughs> Critic reviews. Scored. Review 0 out of 10. Feedback got virus. I don't think I saw it before. Oh. Anna Amelia's Cafe is better than anime.exe. Review. An An haunting showdown. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if I saw this one either. I'm not reading these because I'm already too far past that. Okay, I have a couple ideas. Nexus. How would I check if I'm correct or not? I've been here for a good bit, and I don't know. I've tried adding shit up, I've tried... Like... Normal shit. You know, you'd know I already tried anime.exe. Anime, no, that kind of shit. I'll even try it again. I don't know if I need to click a button or if it'll just automatically recognize that, you know, I type that out. I've tried N Nexus, which, yeah, you saw that, but, I mean, like, that's, like, the most obvious answer to me. I've tried, uh, the, like, follower count, the ages of all the fucking people who died, and even combined. 303, 304, the numbers, I mean, do we think that'll work? 3110, no. That's, like, 3 a.m. 3 a.m., I don't know if this, like, needs, like, a number. Like, just numbers, just letters. I'm sorry for the frame lag. If I look in a specific spot, it dies. I literally can't control that. I just don't know. What What is expected of me? Do I need to get, like, every death or something? And it's just magically unlocked for me? I do not know. And it's kind of making me a bit annoyed. You know, I'd like to thank that one guy whose name I still cannot... Like, you know what? I'll give it a genuine shot... Let's let me look like this. The the case pros? The case pros? Yeah. Yeah. That person. I'd like to say thank you for, to that person, like always being on time with these. Like seriously, they are the fastest motherfuckers alive. Would you like to guess what the password is? It's not anime. It's not anime.exe. It's not in caps. It's not this. It's not like that in caps. You know what it is? Capital A. N-I-M-E. No? Well, I'm at a loss for words, frankly. Because... For... For a for good friend there, who... Gets to any game faster than... Just... I have no comparison, actually. It works for him. Don't work for me. What? And what's funny is you can see he tried Nexus as well. Same fucking wavelength here. So what did he do? So what is he doing here? It's different from mine. Let me take one more good look at it. Yep, still the same as always. When did I even buy this? Let me check one more time to see if there's any chips or scratches. Wake up, Ethan. You're in a coma. You are not going to fucking believe this. So. <laughs> You're not gonna fucking believe this, dude. You will literally not believe this. So, get off from there. No. No. Yeah. Q-A-I. That is the answer. You have to fucking, like, when it's going to, you have to, then you have to look at the fucking keyboard. Go fuck yourself in a, on the doorknob in a moldy auditorium for thinking of this. Fuck you. What kind of cryptic bullshit is that? Anyways. Let's get it. I have no idea if Mr. Uh, K.O. Perico showed it or not. That's... Yeah, when you get QAI, here you go. Quantum art and... Uh, from bringing life into anime dreams. And, you know, that's how you know the fuck answer the questions. Fuck you. Actually, I'm wondering if you can search Nexus. No? You can't even search Nexus? Why well, have a name and drop it then. 
So yeah, Quantum Art. I'll actually read this. Breathing life in the anime dreams. Uh, welcome to Quantum Art. I'm actually not going to. So I'll give you time to read it with me talking like this so you can quickly gaze over it so you get to read it, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep talking because I just feel like doing it. So when you read it, I just keep saying all this. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself, basically. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I should start doing this faster. So I stop after doing this joke. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Just, just pause it at this point, okay? Just pause. Science company that is making anime real, and then you got more of this. Oh my god. Get MatPat. Get MatPat. Make him make a fucking game three so we read all this shit for you. Okay, here. Uh. There's Q. Yeah, here we have thing relating it to that. Oh my god, this page just goes on and on! <laughs> yes, I get it. I'm already sick and fucking tired of this game. Alright, here we go. If this doesn't work... Thank Aha, god. It. Let's check this out. Hi. This is a message from Dr. Victor Hawthorne, Chief Technologist at Quantum Art Innovations, and I must bring to your immediate attention a critical situation regarding our project, Anime.exe. It has come to our knowledge that an individual... It has come to our knowledge that an individual identifying themselves as Nebula has betrayed our cause. Nebula has infiltrated our systems, introducing an exceptionally... My God, dude! An exception, exceptionally... Sophisticated computer virus into anime.exe. Furthermore, they have leaked the game's download link onto the internet, putting a risk. <laughs> I'd be able to read this if the fucking text wasn't moving like that. Putting at risk the very essence of what we have strived to achieve. Nebula's motivations stem from a belief that our groundbreaking technology enabling an anime characters to materialize as, visu as visu virtual friends will have catastrophic consequences for humanity. In response to the this security breach, we are implementing an advanced anti. Go fuck yourself on a doorknob in a moldy auditorium. I'm not even going to read this. Myself in editing. Fuck you. You're doing it. An advanced antivirus protocol to protect those who have engaged with anime.exe. To safeguard yourself, we are dispatching an exclusive quantum art teleportation CD to your address, which our system has detected. The CD contains a unique antivirus in the form of light. When inserted into any device with a monitor, it would emit a protective light that dissolves the virtual connection between the game and reality, effectively removing the anime character from your surroundings. We apologize for any inconvenience caused by this unforeseen situation. Rest assured we are actively pursuing Nebula's apprehension to ensure the con- What have you done? T Finally, Final. the suffering is over. I was gonna say it. My beloved Tomomi chan and that girl are gone. I really need to take a rest. Tomorrow I'll notify my fans and explain what really happened. I don't think I can carry on with this any longer. To anybody listening, do not download anime.exe. <laughs> now you have unlocked fan arts gallery. Fan art? Okay, fan arts. Wowie Zala, that was so worth suffering for. Okay, so anyways, now it's time for the official Doug Walker clap score. What do I think this deserves? Hmm, we'll give it a four in a and one third. I would give it lower because of the solution to that, because I think that is just... Unless it's said somewhere, like, like hinting like, oh yeah, you need to like get up and then look at the keyboard. I don't think it was. I mean, to be fair, I didn't read most of that. Uh, if it was, then the joke's on me. If it wasn't, then the... Then, 
you, you problem, you. Thank you for watching CN Nation. Consider subscribing for more epic gaming content.